you're watching the February edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. We've just seen a few of the events coming up at your library, and with so many free events for you to choose from, the monthly newsletter, The Source, can't even begin to list them all. So go to the library's website, ebrpl.com, and browse the online calendar of events. To get your pages turning this month, Tamika and I decided to celebrate Valentine's Day with some thrillers and paranormal romances. Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews is about a perfect family, golden and carefree, until a heartbreaking tragedy shattered their happiness. Now for the sake of the inheritance that will ensure their future, the children must be hidden away, out of sight, as if they never existed. Kept on the top floor of their grandmother's vast mansion, their loving mother assures them that it's only temporary, but as days turn into months and years, the children realize their survival is at the mercy of their cruel grandmother, and this cramped, helpless world may be the only one they ever know. This book became a movie in 1987, and Lifetime has just released an updated version. In Carolina Moon by Nora Roberts, we meet Tori Bodine, who grew up in a small, rundown house in South Carolina, where her father ruled with an iron fist and a leather belt and where her dreams and talents had no room to flourish. But she has a friend in Hope. Hope lived in the big house just a short skip away, and their friendship allowed Tori to be something she wasn't allowed to be at home, a child. But after Hope's brutal murder, Tori's life began to fall apart. And now, as she returns to her hometown with plans to settle in and open a stylish design shop, She's determined to find a measure of peace and free herself from the visions of the past. As Tori forges a new bond with Cade Lavelle, Hope's older brother and the heir to the family fortune, she's not sure whether the tragic loss they share will unite them or drive them apart, but she's willing to open her heart and try. Living so close to all those unhappy memories will be more difficult and frightening than Tori could have ever imagined, but Hope's murder is nearby as well. The book was made into a 2007 movie. Next up is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. R is a zombie with no name, no memories, and no pulse. He has many, many dreams, but he's a little bit different from his fellow dead. Amongst the ruins of an abandoned city, R meets Julie. She's the opposite of everything he knows, bright, alive, and warm. She has a blast of color in a dreary gray landscape, and for reasons he can't understand, R chooses to save Julie instead of eating her. And a tense yet strangely tender relationship emerges. R is no longer content with life in the grave. He wants to live and breathe again. And Julie wants to help him, but their grim rotting world won't change without a fight. The 2013 movie was highly popular among people like me who absolutely love the Walking Dead TV series. But let me ask you a question, Chandra. Ask away. What if everybody in the world was somehow tall and gorgeous like you? What could possibly be wrong with that? Well, in The Uglies by Scott Westerfield, Tally finds out it may not be so great after all. Tally's about to turn 16, and she can't wait, not for her license, but for turning pretty. In Tally's world, your 16th birthday brings an operation that turns you from a repellently ugly beast into stunningly pretty. In just a few weeks, Tally will be there. But Tally's new friend Shay says she isn't sure that she wants to be pretty. I don't know what's wrong with that chick. She'd rather risk life on the outside. And when Shay runs away, Tally learns about a whole new side of the pretty world, and it isn't so pretty. The authorities offer Tally the worst choice she can imagine. Find her friend and turn her in or never be pretty. The choice Tally makes changes her world forever. This series has three other books and is scheduled to be made into a movie soon. Ooh. I know. The library has it all. Thrillers, romance, sci-fi, and something for everyone, Tamika. And, and that's, that's how the page turns. Thanks, Tamika and Chandra. There's really something for every reading taste. And now for today's contest, I'll pull from the names of the next 20 people who sign up for the new Atomic Learning resource from the website. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow next month? A very special new resource to try. Next month, we'll go beyond the stacks and explore spring programs at a library near you. Catch me, Mardi Gras, my boy, on the bookmobile.
and I'll be gearing up for some Ender Games programs. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week and each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. <laughs>